Hi everybody, it's Miss Renee from the library with her best buddy, Miss Whitney. Whitney. And we're going to do a winter story time with you today. Miss Whitney, what do you think this story time might possibly be about? Some of my favorite things in the winter time. Uh -huh. We have nice warm mittens. Yes. And I see delicious cups of what I expect is hot chocolate because they're yes. adorable marshmallows. Yes, yes, that's yeah. right. Although I think if my marshmallows had cute little faces on them, I don't know if I could eat them because these are just adorable, aren't they? Right. But real marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some words up here. H, the letter H, <laughs> is for hot. <laughs> Can you hear that? H sound and hot. And the letter C is for ch ch chocolate. Hot chocolate, one of my mm. favorite drinks. I hope you guys like it too. So let's talk about hot chocolate right after we sing our welcome song. Are you ready, Miss Whitney? I am ready. Okay, here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! Miss Whitney, I want to thank you for helping me find the note on that every single time. Thank you. Because I, I start off on some other note that isn't quite right. So anyway, don't ever worry about how you sing. Just sing out and enjoy it. Right? Right. Okay. Let's start with our hot chocolate rhyme. You want to? Yes, okay. I would love to. So here we go. Marshmallows for my chocolate, white as can be, floating in my cup for everyone to see. How many should I have? One. Sounds fun. Drink it up. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Marshmallows for my chocolate, white as can be, floating in my cup for everyone to see. How many should I have? Two should do. Drink it up. Gump, 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 gump. Woohoo! <laughs> Good job. Marshmallows for my chocolate, white as can be, floating in my cup for everyone to see. How many should I have? Three for me. Drink it up. Whee! <laughs> Good job. Marshmallows in my chocolate, white as can be, floating in my cup for everyone to see. How many should I have? Four from the store. Glub, drink it up. Glub, 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 glub. I want more. <laughs> Marshmallows for my chocolate, white as can be, floating in my cup for everyone to see. How many should I have? Five to thrive, drink it up, and stay alive. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> all right. Well, Miss Whitney, after all that chocolate that you drank, I don't know. You're going to be too full for lunch, maybe. All those marshmallows and all that chocolate. Always room for marshmallows and chocolate. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so let's um, let's do this song. It's uh, to spread winter cheer. Okay, so are you ready, Miss Whitney? I am ready. All right, why don't you start us out? Okay. <laughs> let's all, all do, do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping and spread winter cheer. Are you clapping? I don't know. Did I hear them clapping? Mm, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Okay. All right, here we go. Clap really loud, guys. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping and spread winter cheer. All right, what's our next one? Stretching. 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 Oh. Let's all do a little stretching. Let's all do a little stretching. Let's all do a little stretching and spread winter cheer. Okay, now what? Stomping. Stomping. We got to stand up for this one. Let's all do a little stomping. Let's all do a little stomping. Let's all do a little stomping and spread Christmas cheer. Or winter cheer, actually. <laughs> Oh, spinning. We spinning. need to stay up. Okay. Are you ready to spin, guys? Here we go. 
Let's all do a little spinning. Let's all do a little spinning. Let's all do a little spinning and spread winter cheer. Good job. Okay, last one. Can you see you're standing up? Yeah, I think so. Right. Let's all do a little shaking. Let's all do a little shaking. Let's all do a little shaking and spread winter cheer. Then let's end with clapping again. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping and spread winter cheer. Yay! Good job, guys. Now at home, you can add anything you want to that. Uh, you, you have can... a kazoo? Do you have a kazoo in here? Play kazoo for winter cheer. Mm -hmm. Your parents will love it. Yes, they will. Or bang on a saucepan. Oh, yeah. You know, drum or something. Yeah, they'll like that. <laughs> they'll like that one, too. Okay, so we've done that. We have some mittens on the board. Oh. Lots and lots of mittens. And we need to figure out what color these mittens are. Mm -hmm. And then we need to choose the mitten that we think is hiding the snowball. Oh. So somewhere under all these mittens is a snowball. Let's try to figure out which one it is first by figuring out our colors. So, so many beautiful ones. What color is this? Blue. Blue, yes, very good. And this is an orange mitten, right? This is the color of my mittens. My mittens are black. Really? This is a purple mitten. This one, this is a beautiful pink mitten. Oh, I love that one. And this is a sunshiny yellow mitten, isn't it? Very Ooh. cheerful. Oh, and I love green. This is a green mitten. Yep. And this is a gray mitten with a little white pom-pom on it. Classy. Uh-huh. <laughs> And this one is a beautiful bright red mitten. Yes. So somewhere behind one of these mittens, there's a snowball just waiting to be thrown. Oh my goodness. I'm going to pick first. Okay. And I'm going to say it's behind the pink mitten because I love pink. Let's see. Oh, nope. No snowball. no snowball to be seen. I am going to say, since my mm. mittens are black, I'm going to go behind the black mitten. Ah! Nope. No that was snowball. a good guess, though. Okay, um, I'm going to say my mittens are gray, so I'm going to go with the gray mitten with the little white pom pom. Show me a snowball. Oh. No snowball. What do you guys think? Hmm. Do you think we should do blue? Ooh, I like Let's it. do the blue. Okay. Oh, not this time. Not. Th I'm starting to wonder if there is a snowball. Hmm. hmm. All right. I'm going to check behind the orange mitten. Let's see. No. Oh. No snowball. Hmm. I'm going to pick the purple hiding it, out here on the bottom. Yeah, it is all by itself. Oh, nope. no snowball. No snowball. All right. Well, I'm going to check. Maybe we should check Christmas colors. Oh. I'm going to check the green and see if it's behind the green mitten. Oh. Uh, no, no snowball. I like candy cane. Mm. So I've got a good feeling about red, is it? Oh, yes! it is! Yay! There is our snowball! It was behind the red <laughs> mitten! All right, here we go. Boom! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and poor yellow mitten all by its lonesome. We'll have to take her down off the board. Okay. All right, so Miss Whitney, mm -hmm. I wonder if you would like to do a rhyme for us about three little kittens. Yes, and these three little kittens have mittens. Oh my. So this fits in perfectly with yes. what we are doing. Yes, indeed. You might know the story of the three little kittens who lost their mittens. Hmm. So if you know it, you can go ahead and sing along. And if you don't, just enjoy. And then you'll be able to join me next time. We have 
three little kittens and a mama cat. <clears throat> now three little kittens, they lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have lost. What? Lost your mittens? You naughty kittens. Now you can have no pie. Meow, 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 meow. Now we can have no pie. Oh, mama dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have found. What? Found your mittens? <gasps> you good little kittens. Now you shall have some pie. Meow, 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 meow. Now we can have some pie. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I have enough fingers for all the mittens. <laughs> poor sweet little kittens. Would you like to put the mittens on the kittens? All right, I'll put... do. I'll do this one. Oh, you'll need that other blue one. Okay. <laughs> Whitney. These are so cute. They These are adorable. And kittens. You know, don't you think though that maybe they ought to have mittens for their back paws too? Oh yes. Or maybe their back paws they should have winter boots. That would be a good idea. Some Here's animals. Here's one. And there's another one. Look how cute they are in their little mittens. We That's lost adorable. the red mitten. Here we go. We don't want to leave this little kitten out. She'll be sad. Let's give her her little mittens. Oh, it's hard to pick Some up. animals do have little snow boots that they wear outside. I've seen that. And you know what? My son just got a puppy and we had to get a little winter coat for oh. the puppy because she was too <laughs> cold outside. She's adorable. All right. There they are. There they are. They found their mittens. And now they shall have Yay. some pie. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I have a story to read today called The Mitten by Jan Brett. And when I'm reading the story, Miss Whitney is going to act out the different animals as I read, okay? Here we go, The Mitten by Jan Brett. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother Baba did not want to knit white mittens. Oh, if you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. It would be hard to find a white mitten in the snow, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? But Nikki wanted snow white mittens and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nicky went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Do you see where it is on the page? Hard to see. It is very hard to but see. I think I see it right there. Yep, yep, yep. Unfortunately, Nikki doesn't know it's gone yet. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room enough for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. That's probably a good 
Good thing to remember in life. Anyone that has prickles, give them a lot of elbow room. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled, but when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. That would be pretty cozy. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast. <laughs> Along came a meadow mouse no bigger than an acorn. She wiggled onto the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. <laughs> the bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. <laughs> I love this last picture because what does it show us, Miss Whitney? <laughs> She's wondering how the first one got so stretched out. <laughs> And Nikki won't be able to tell her because he doesn't even know. <laughs> all right, the end. Well, that's all we have for today. And uh, we hope that you had a really good time with us. We sure do miss you. And we hope to see you here at the library very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.